Alright, Snorkel. Welcome back to this playthrough of Little Misfortune. Where did we leave off? Well, we found out a lot of interesting stuff about the monster that we keep flashing back to in the black and white scenes. Uh, apparently its name is Margo. The fox has been sent here to protect us, which I suspected the whole time. But that voice we're hearing in our head, that's Margo. And apparently we have been sort of uh, winning him over with our with our charm. So this is the fox's cabin. Booter. And let's uh let's see if we can find out more information on the fox. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. It does. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Life after death. Learning how to be gray. Communication. Key to cooperation. The upside of being a spirit animal. <gasps> Benjamin's our spirit animal. The fun stories of a boring man. What does that say? When hatred wants to be loved. <laughs> and the meaning of love. Benjamin has excellent taste in books. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. He does. He looks dapper. Let's see. There's a little tea. Okay. And he's got a little incense burning there. Let's see. <gasps> Benjamin, I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. No, he did not. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. Ooh. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? <laughs> what is that? Ooh. Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Okay, yep, is Margo. Is there a monster in your diary you're afraid of? Yeah. I think I saw him too. Yep. You can't hide the children. <gasps> Follow Benjamin. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Yes. Hold on. Let's just do a little savey save here. Okay, let's go down. Follow Benjamin. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. More goes out there. Uh oh, fell down the stairs. Darn it. Benjamin, where do you go? There's some fox hair. Oh no. Is this Benjamin? Okay, let's see. There's a hole behind the painting. Hmm. Hello. Okay, okay. I can't reach it. Yeah. I'm a little lady, you know. <laughs> You're a little lady. Can we use the stool? Because that seems pretty... Yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Such a clever little lady. Indeed you are. Indeed you are, little misfortune. Let's go. Time to use my ninja skills. Yeah. Oh, get in there. Shh. Oh. What a bad crack. <laughs> Be quiet. This is a ninja mission! Jeez. Benjamin, are you here? What's this? So it was Benjamin placing this. Hmm. But Benjamin seems so nice. Benjamin Maybe is he nice. Him for that monster. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Kind of. Okay, so there's that. Hold on. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. That's odd. Let's see. Can we go further this way? My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Okay. Up on the chair. Now what? 
<gasps> Ooh. Oh, oh, we can do, can we do something with the picture? A real ninja lady always touches everything. Really? <laughs> A secret button. Ooh. Yeah. All right, then. I push the button. Okay. <gasps> hey, it's opening. Neat. Go inside. Ooh. Very fallouty. Okay, let's go. That was easy. It was. All right. Time to find Bangy. Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. I things got better when I got the eternal happiness. Might not make you less, less clumsy. Watch that. <laughs> oh, oh, Tepe. Okay. Oh. Yeah, get up. Come on. Come on. You are stronger than you think. Come on, come on, I'm tapping A. You've been knocked down before. Yeah, only to get up again. Did you let that stop you? No. I'm not sure what the point of this is. <laughs> you can do it. I mean, I'm clicking A. Because... <laughs> Okay, come on. This is, I mean, I guess it's a little suspenseful. It doesn't seem like it, but I guess it is. You are the little lady, Miss Fortune. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go in. See what Benji's up to. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're dear. Anyone here? Benji? Hi, Mr. Mr. Deer. Lewis? I guess I'm alone. Oh, there's deer here. Some glitter, dear. Oh, a baby deer. Look at so that baby. Aw. Dream come true. No kidding. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> Watch out for ticks. <laughs> <gasps> Benjamin's bag. Oh my gosh. Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must Ooh, be in trouble. He must be. We have to save him. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Oh, whatever. Oh, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please stop playing games. Yep. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. It's true. I trusted you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. Mm -hmm. You're the one taking the children. Yep. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? Mm. I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. <laughs> How can he make you? Oh, jeez. <laughs> then play with me. You need Gosh. to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. A jerk. A waiting for you. I'm sick oh. of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. Hmm. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. Oh. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Jeez. Freaking monster. Yeah. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, let's see what Benjamin has in there. Hopefully. Maybe Benjamin's waiting for us back at our home. I hope so. I hope nothing bad happened to Benjamin. <gasps> at the end of the road, you realize you already signed the deal. Well, snap. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you said? <laughs> okay, so we got that. <sighs> Is that Benjamin also baby? Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at those big foxy eyes. Okay, we already saw that. Uh, ooh, UST. For students of the University of Cinderset Technology. Projector course. Three-step guide. Three-step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond. Introduction. 
As the altered reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms out of the constituted FREE, five realms of essential existence, have appeared. After the Ultra War, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of that war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the Beyond. Oh, this is really mysterious. It is. The Beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment. Since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra reality before the ultra war, the beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect, but to connect with it in a logical manner. A few pieces we recognize are the behavior of some visitors known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure to the beyond. And that's why we need protectors. Protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims guide them into Cindersy. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to Cindersy. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step one. Wow. The protector must locate the victims and the parasite. The protector's parasite case, P0101222 Morgo. Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Meeting of assistance checklist. One, the victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. Two, the victim is already dead but doesn't realize it. Ah -ha. Three, the victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. Four, the victim sympathizes with the parasite. So it could be two or three, but I'm I think it's two. I think that I I said that before. I think it's two. The parasite. Yeah. Checklist of parasite P0101222 Morgo. Deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. Three. It shape shifts into human animal creature. Or it quickly learns about the environment. Language and culture are not an issue for this parasite. 5. Large blocks of blackbirds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Marco, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Oh! Paint? I like to paint. Using the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. This is step 2. The parasite can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Step three, please prepare for contact with, well, crap. With the what? <laughs> we'll never know. Yeah, well, shoot. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It said, okay, uh, okay, we're done. It said, that's funny. The thing said close X, but it actually was B. Oh, hold on. Aww. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's keep going and see what we got. Yeah, I knew that narrator wasn't very nice. Hmm. Ooh. Well, that's Benjamin. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, we've got right. the train. I guess I'll take the train back home. Yeah. After all that happened, I want to save. I, I think there's something screwy going on here. Uh, we're going to save. We'll save here. Okay, let's go. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. It's true. He did. Such a foxy boy. <laughs> He's a foxy boy. He's a foxy, foxy boy. Yeah, let's wait for the train. Okay, I'll wait here. Yep. Wait him, wait him <laughs> for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. Okay. Oh my.
my gosh. So misfortune. How have you been? Okay, I have this like weird day. I saw monsters, I saw those, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. <gasps> and he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow. Sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's the train. On to the train we go. Kind of looks like the L of Chicago. Yeah. Our friend Hero. Well. That is interesting. Here we are on the train. Oh, and we're gonna... Let's see, so how do we do this? Uh, X? A? Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's, let's, let's fill this in. This is pretty fun. I wanna make sure we get this all done here. Uh, leave that part white. Oh, oh no, gosh. I uh, never, ever, ever try to, try to color in with a joystick. Oh, gosh. Okay, we'll just keep going until we have most of it covered and colored. Let's see, get this little part up here. Oh, gotta get down here. Yep. Oh, I, oh, I see. Oh, it's... Okay, I don't, I don't... I can just do it with impunity because it just does it. Great. I was trying too hard. I was being a silly goose. So, yeah, I just have to basically run over it and it, and it paints it whatever the color is going to be. So, fantastic. Great. That's what we'll do. Paint her up. Oh, look, red, red, like, nails on this? That's, that is a stylish, uh, what's that? That's not a triceratops. What is that? I don't know. I'm no dinosaurologist. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Yep. Fortunately, we don't have to paint the sky blue, which is good. I wonder if I have to get, I probably just have to get a percentage of this done and they'll call it good, I would think. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. Look at this. Painting with Snorgel. Not really painting. Crayoning with Snorgel? Something like that. You paint the happy little clouds. Okay, here we go. We'll just get this little guy done. He's probably not a little guy since he's a dinosaur. In fact, he's probably a very, very big boy. You know, dinosaurs have a tendency of being pretty good. I think they're pretty good sized, I think. Were there small dinosaurs? Maybe there were. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. Can we paint those? We go. Oh, that's funny. We can't. Okay. Well, whatever. That's fine. Oh, it looks like a little hard up there. Okay. Let's see. I'm just trying to get everything here. Uh, let's see. We'll paint over here this up here. Look, I'm not, yeah, I, I just don't know if I'm supposed to get every single last bit. I mean, maybe. That seems a little unrealistic, but that's okay. Don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, there we go. Look at these. Those little rocks. Those little rocks. I think we'll call that good. Huh. I don't feel inspired. Oh, nuts. Uh. Oh, oh, hero. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. Not really. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. Oh. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. Yeah. I'm sure it's the monster. Yeah, it is. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know here. Be aware of the consciousness. Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah. Be aware of the consciousness. Uh, I'll try to help here. Not sure we're gonna be able to do anything. Yeah. Well, nuts. We'll find out what happened to Hero next time. Thanks for watching this playthrough of Little Misfortune.
Next time, we get off the train and find out what happened to Hero.